Hey folks, what's up? It's Dan Bader here. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about what should go on to your programming blog if you want to run it as, you know, a programming portfolio of sorts or um, something that that you're creating so that, you know, it speaks for you and it kind of shows your expertise and it's a way for you to get touch in, uh, in touch with the developer community and also to make you more desirable as a potential hire for these companies. And um, I, I actually, you know, to talk about this, I went back to one of the first versions of uh, my website, which is uh, debater.org. Looks uh, a little bit different today in terms of the content that I'm offering. And, you know, it's just a lot more content up there in general. Um, but how I started out was uh, very, very simple. You know, I, I launched my website, debater.org, in, um, in 2012. And in terms of what I had on there, there was almost nothing on the site. You know, this is... Um, this is not the perfect example of how you should get started. And I'm going to walk you through like a better example that I think would be um, a good way to start out today. But just in terms of how I started out back then, you know, I basically had two blog posts. Um, I actually made that blog post overview really, really big. You know, I used a huge font in like this big blurb and article preview. So, um, so I had something that could fill the whole page because I didn't want to launch with like two tiny little bullet points. Um, so I'm trying to make that a little bit more impressive. And then I had like an almost empty about page and that was it, right? Um, now, that's a, a perfectly fine way to get started. If you, know, if you just want to throw something out there, do it, like write two articles, post them, maybe have an about page that links to your Twitter or whatever. It's good enough to get started. If you want to go, um, if you have a little bit more time to invest and um, uh, if, if you want to spend a little bit more time building um, a little bit, you know, a, a bit more of a comprehensive package, I'm working on this thing um, as an example blog for a Python developer. And I call it uh, the Jane's Python blog example. Um, and in terms of the structure here, it's, it's actually quite simple, right? So I... I like having um, a very simple navigation. Uh, it's kind of like on my side where you just have the nav on the top. Um, here I put it on the side. And um, it's basically divided into um, a landing page, which I call start here, which, um, which would introduce yourself and kind of what you're all about. Then uh, a list of articles, um, some projects that you've worked on, as basically a proof of you know that you know what you're doing and some some of your portfolio stuff and then also an about page, and I think that would be that would be a structure that would be attainable for a lot of folks starting out. You know, relatively simple to set up, but it would still cover um, all of your bases um, that you need to cover. And I just want to walk you through that. So in terms of the landing page, which I call start here, um, I I think. It helps to just, you know, kind of give people an idea of what you're all about, right? So in this case, we probably start with something like this, like some kind of tagline and say, okay, hi, I'm such and such a Python software engineer from such and such city. And then maybe a bit of backgrounds, just filler text of, um, you know, what, what you're interested in, why you're, you're, you've started this page or the site, and then just give people an overview of some of the things you offer. For example, if you have a newsletter, you uh, could link to that. If you have products, you could link to that. If uh, people can hire you as a contractor, you could link to that. And then you could also include some recent articles. So that actually brings me to the next section here. So I'm clicking on articles. You can see that this is just an overview of articles um, that are published on the blog. Um, and basically this just gives people a way to click through and then read your articles. Um, and then these articles, you know, they could include code examples and, you know, these are not real articles. These are just there for filler. But in terms of the structure, I think um, I think that makes sense. And then also very important, uh, I think it's good to have some kind of projects page. If you're offering, you know, if what you're offering is your expertise, I think it's a good way to show um, what you're offering in this regard, right? And this, these could just link out to your GitHub page or your Bitbucket page or whatever um, open source um, uh, repository site you use, right? So you could just point people to that stuff. And then um, I would also include an about page. Um, I've kind of, you know, over the last four years of running my site, um, I've kind of 
gotten more comfortable with actually posting uh, pictures of myself online. Like, for example, you know, I've got this like mugshot kind of like uh, picture here or photo here. And um, I think it helps a lot with actually, you know, building a connection with people. So these are just um, stock photos just to illustrate that. I don't think that photo is actually ideal. Maybe you want to look directly at the camera. But, you know, again, start simple. Like when I started, I didn't have any of that. So I want to help you get a little bit better. Um, than what I used back then. And arguably some of that is even better than the, the page or the site that I have right now. So, um, you know, again, very simple stuff. You could get started with this relatively easily. Um, it doesn't have to be super styled. Like I think matter of fact for, for a developer portfolio, a lot of times if you have like a really kind of low key style to your blog that or your website, that could be a good thing, you know, just kind of... Um, a lot of people in that space dig the minimalism and that's feedback that I heard initially where people are like, oh yeah, I really like, you know, how how all of this stuff isn't screaming at me. I guess like these days it's a little bit different for me where uh, some of this stuff is really screaming at you with these colors and stuff. But if you're just getting started, if you just want to throw something out there, this is perfectly fine. And this is going to put you above what 90 or 95% of other developers are doing. So this is absolutely going to make you more desirable as um, as a potential hire, as a developer. It's going to show your expertise, and um, I've, you know, one of the best things I ever did for my career was launching my website. So this is a way you could potentially get started in a relatively small amount of time. So if you're interested in this topic, maybe you want to give this a shot and start building your own website. Um, I have lots more to say about this topic um, because I, you know, this is really something that's dear to my heart because it's done so much for me and my career. Like starting debater.org was one of the best things like hands down I ever did for my career as a software engineer. And, um, you know, even when you start out with these humble beginnings, it can really regrow really into something that is going to help you a lot. And so if you're interested in this topic, then just go to debater.org. Um, on directly on the homepage, you can scroll down and sign up for my weekly newsletter. I just want to punch in your email address. And um, I've already talked a ton about this topic on the newsletter and kind of how I got started, some tips how people um, can get started, how they can get free hosting and all of that stuff. And, and there's going to be more because I think it's such an important topic. It could really do um, a lot for uh, an engineer just starting out, or if you want to improve your career as a software developer, as a Python developer, I think starting a website is one of the best things you can do hands down. Get started right now. Um, let me know whatever questions you have, just throw them in the comments in there and I'll do uh, another video where I try and answer these questions. And um, do it. <laughs> Good luck with that. Cheers.